we will show you how to install an AMIC AIS transponder in combination with an external AMIC Cubo 162 VHF splitter. We start by connecting the VHF antenna. The antenna cable usually consists of a PL259 connector. Plug the VHF antenna's PL plug into the SO239 socket of the AMIC Cubo 162 where it is marked antenna. Next, connect the AMIC Cubo 162 with the Camino 108 AIS transponder. Use the included PNC PL cable and connect the BNC connector to the BNC socket marked AIS on the splitter. Connect the PL connector side of the cable with the SO239 socket of the AIS transponder. The next step is to connect the radio. Connect the Cubo 162 to the radio using the included PLPL cable. Connect one side of the cable to the SO239 socket of the Cubo 162 where it is marked radio. An SO239 socket is usually also provided on radios for connecting a VHF antenna. We can now connect the included GPS patch antenna. We connect the antenna directly to the transponder via the TNC socket where it is marked GPS. Please note that the patch antenna is not suitable for outdoor use. A special outdoor GPS antenna is additionally available if you would like to do this. The Camino 108 and Cubo 162 can then be supplied with 12 or 24 volts of power. With the Camino 108 cable, it is also possible to receive and transmit NMEA 0183 data. All data can be transmitted via NMEA 0183 or with MicroC NMEA 2000 connection via an NMEA 2000 network to an AIS capable display device where it can be viewed. Simply connect the Camino 108 to a free slot in your NMEA 2000 network. It is of course also possible to connect the Camino 108 to a Raymarine SeaTalk NG or Simrad SimNet network and display the AIS data accordingly. <laughs>